Hello, this is Dean Malone with Compass Effects. I hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. For the last number of weeks, we've seen quite a bit of weakness in the pound dollar. It was almost up to 172, and the last number of weeks, we've seen it drop all the way down to 161. In a previous video, I mentioned watch the pound dollar this week drop down to about that 60 50 area and potentially all the way down to 160, which is a 50% retracement on the weekly charts. Well, overnight, we got a breakdown below the 161 level and it pinned right at the 6050 area. So you followed my video recommendation previously, there's 50 pips in your pocket. Now, some of the folks in the marketplace are wondering why we get this renewed strength to the upside. Well, some of it's due to fundamentals in the marketplace. We have the Scottish Independence Referendum, seeing what's going to take place, how the pound's going to react to that. And part of the weakness we've seen lately is due to the higher probability of having Scottish independence. But I think there's a couple of other scenarios technically in the marketplace. One of those scenarios is a squeeze on shorts in the pound dollar. Institutional players often like to go after stop loss orders that are following a heavy market in one direction. So that's called a squeeze. We get a run up, a very strong push up to knock some traders out of the marketplace as they add to their shorts going down. But I think there's another factor to consider as well. If you look at the start of the week, we had what we refer to as a gap open. It's where the market closed on Friday and literally gapped over price to a lower price. In this case, we had a gap open down. And what the market attempts to do is fill the gap. This is a natural process that the market has a tendency to do over and over again. And it's interesting today, we saw a very strong move on the pound back to the level of where it had reached up to Sunday night trying to fill the gap. Now where do we go from here? I think there's the possibility that if we maintain this trajectory up, we're going to see the potential fill in the marketplace. However, if the market has been in a true squeeze on shorts and the market's done on that squeeze, we could see the roll back over to that 160 that many institutional players are looking for on the weekly chart. If I go out and take a look at that weekly chart, let me emphasize this. We've seen the market go from that low to this high point, and so it sits right there at the 50%. And a lot of traders are looking for that possibility. And I think what took place in the marketplace is traders saw this, oh, it's going to the 50%, it's going to the 50%, I'm going to hop on and ride this down to the 50% level because that's where everybody's going. Well, guess what took place? Institutional traders saw that, and I think we got a squeeze up to knock out some of those short-term, near-term traders going short the pound dollar, and that's what gave us that move today uh, back to the upside. Now, how do we really work with this? How do we play off of this? Well, if you look at this, there's a couple of scenarios that can happen. We could potentially pull back, hold this level, and then work back to the weekly open. That would be where we left off on Friday, the possibility to fill the gap all the ways of possibility. However, if the market really has the inclination to go to that 50% based on the weekly, then I think we have another potential setup here. And this is what we have. We have a one, two, three down pattern. The market has pushed all the way back to the 618 level. So what I'm thinking is, if we break below the 50%, look for the market to slide back down to 38.2. You see this resistance level here, that high right there? That old resistance, that high point right there, is going to act as potential support. If not there, it'll act as support right in this area. Okay. If that gives it up and we roll back over further, then I see a 1, 2, 3 down pattern that would lead us down to that 160 level. And if I just flipped around my fibs for just a moment, we'll see the possibility of the market getting down to that level. You see the 127.2, I often talk about the 127.2 is a high probable target. Look what it sits at. From today's low to today's high, it sits right at the 160 level. So if we get a 123 down pattern, look for the possible push on down to 160. However, if the squeeze is still on and the uh, institutional traders are looking for that possible gap fill, we could get that push back up to 163. Now, 
regardless of all what's going on with the possibility of up or down on the pound, it has definitely had an impact on other pound pairs. Like today, we saw the pound obviously making a push up. Look at this beautiful dots guppy trade today from the uh, New York Open. We had a nice little push up, went right up to our buy target number two level, then fell back over and gave us another opportunity to step in and trade it one more time. And again, as I've said before, if these keep moving in a direction beyond the buy target number two level, look for it to go to the next average daily range level. And that's exactly what it did. So the possibility is to push it up there and then eventually we could get that possibility pushing up to the next level. Take a look at what happened on the pound Swiss. Big movement overnight. Now we don't necessarily look to trade that short here because it's going against the guppies, the long-term guppies, but as it moved up, settled the long-term guppies, the short-term guppies. This is a beautiful dots guppy trade to the upside and I mean it just worked out wonderfully and it went well beyond weekly low, traded up to the weekly mid low and then right back to the weekly open. I mean boom 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 went right to those levels. Then take a look at the pound yen. Oh my gosh, was this a horse or what today? You had the opportunity to trade this overnight during the Asian session, had a nice move up, pulled back and did a test of the long-term guppies. Now this is where speculators, small-time hedge funds, are challenging the longer-term institutional traders, the big boys. The big boys didn't give, pushed the market, speculators came back out, pushed in that direction, and what a move we had today. Uh, going out of the European session into New York today, we had a nice move up to the buy target number two. And again, what did the market do? Level to level. And even pushed up a little bit higher, almost getting up here to the weekly extension high number two for the week. Some very strong movement today in the pound. So in a nutshell here, what I'm going to suggest to you is a couple of things. Look for the market to potentially fill the gap. That's the tendency of the market to do when the market gaps like it does. And gap fills happen with a high probability. Now it may not happen in a couple of days afterwards, but in this scenario here, there's a high probability that we'll see the gap get filled. What I'm going to be looking for though is simply this overnight. I'm going to watch this and if we don't break below the 6190, 6180 area and and we don't break below that, I'm going to look for that push higher towards this gap fill. If we do get lower, then I'm going to watch for this slide down, trade this back down towards the 6150 area, and that will be key. If we hold the 6150 area, that's going to be a nice little pullback, a test of this area as support, and then we start working our way back to potentially fill the gap. So yes, there's a couple of different ways this could work itself out, but that's all dependent upon is this just a short squeeze or is the market shifting gears for potential reversal back to the upside? Usually in a reversal, the market's going to test a bottom. It's going to test a floor before a complete reversal of the upside. So in a big sense, I'm seeing this as a first bottoming, then a move up, roll back over, set the bottom, and then a final push to the upside. But you never know. With the gap fill, the market doesn't break below this level and go any lower back towards that 161, there's a high probability that we start filling more of the gap. This is Dean Malone with Compass FX. I hope some of this information will help you out in your trading. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.